It's clear to say that Tottenham have not hit the heavy heights that they did at the beginning of the Premier League campaign. A strong start saw them top of the Premier League table, undefeated until a very disastrous game against Chelsea. And now as the end of the season looms, top four is still up for grabs, but Tottenham have a very heavy and hard fixture schedule towards the end of the season. So with this all in mind and taking everything into consideration including injuries, the sale of Harry Kane and much much more, today I'll be asking the question was Tottenham's fall off inevitable? So this video was sparked and inspired by a clip from the Athletic podcast, The View From The Lane. It's one of the best Tottenham Hotspur podcasts out there, so you should go and check it out if you haven't already. It's got Danny Kelly from TalkSport fame, along with the Athletic writers of Charlie Eccleshare from Football Clichés as well, and Jack Pitt Brook. And this clip is not recent. This clip was from the beginning of the season, and Charlie Eccleshare, who I love him to bits, he is a great journo, made a prediction about Ange Postacoglu's Tottenham team. And I'll be honest... He was pretty spot on. Narrative will dominate the upcoming season. Uh, I think there will be quite a tedious debate over whether... I think the way the way this will pan out is that Postacoglu will get a lot of plaudits early on because he plays attacking football or whatever. But there will come a point at which they um, lose badly to a team they're expected to beat because they play in a certain way and there'll be a lot of pundits and whatever saying you know I'm, I'm sorry but I'm all for good football but there comes a time you've got to shut up I'm sorry hello Rio Ferdinand who'll be first it'll be Ferdinand first will it possibly yeah I don't, I don't care who you are you've got to show more respect to the opposition um, and I think that will become a bit of a tedious uh, debate you know how it would be with Bielsa every week or Basball and it's like Come on. It's a really good shout. It's a really good shout. This sort of referendum each week as to do you believe in this way of playing? It's how he's going to play. Let's just embrace it. At the end of the clip, you can tell he was about to say the word embrace. It cuts off the Twitter clip there. But a lot of what Elkoshir says there is spot on. You know, all that stuff about, you know, it did start off well. As I said, the first 10 games were electrifying. Attacking football was back at Tottenham Hotspur. We were all jubilant as a fan base. But now there's been moments I'm thinking... Both Wolves fixtures, Fulham away, I'm thinking as well, Newcastle away just recently, where results haven't gone our way and everyone started to panic a little bit. But we all know this is a process under Ange Postacoglu. He's going to get backed, hopefully, by Daniel Levy. Daniel Levy needs to pull his finger out and sort of, you know, really buck up his ideas because this is such a key moment for Tottenham to really try and go on to the next level, sign some key players in key areas to improve this team. I think the defence has been, you know, fine. But while midfield is struggling, our attacking line needs a bit more. It's all there. We've just got to really, you know, tweak some things and we can get to the team we want to be. And, you know, the comments about pundits saying shut up shop, plan B, is sort of what the Discord is at the moment when it comes to Tottenham under Ange Postacoglu. It's quite ironic. It's it's sort of a bit like what a lot of Australian fans have said, what Celtic fans have said. Like the first season was gonna, you know, hit peaks and troughs. Postacoglu's teams don't usually start off this good at the beginning of the season. Usually the first season in general is quite you know, experimentational. But we did start the season off well and we've had a lot of injuries. We are coming off, you know, a season last year with Harry Kane scoring a lot of goals, but we are conceding still a lot of goals. So there is so much to sort out. I'm, ne I'm not saying that. But then, yeah, it's also about Ange trying to change the mentality. He said all this stuff about top four. He doesn't care about top four, but he's trying to mentality shift Tottenham. So the downfall was probably due to, you know, Tottenham hoodoo and all that sort of stuff. Like the thing that hangs over Tottenham, the pressure, hence the limp cup exits, you know, Ange did field a weak team against Fulham, but against Manchester City, I think sometimes it does get to us um, in certain moments, you know, we've seen it with Arsenal recently about how they still can't get over the line in certain big moments, Tottenham are similar to Arsenal in that regard of just trying to make sure in key moments, in key, you know, games of the season, we can continue going on some good runs, putting some results together, taking our chances. You know, even that Newcastle game, if we took some chances in the early half, I know Team Averna was on the end of it and people are, you know, on the fence and, you know, the fan base is split about Team Averna. But with Team Averna maybe whipping in those balls instead and someone else on the end of them like Sun, then it's a different story. 
And, you know, I fully back Andrew. The reason I bought a T-shirt is, you know, obvious. Um, I, I like him. I rate him. I think we can do good things over uh, under him. But it's all about, as I keep saying, Levy backing him, getting some players that are going to help the team, help the squad. We need to build a squad and really, you know, go on and be a strong team we know we can be. Because it just gets a bit to those stages where you go, you know, are Tottenham going to be forever this bridesmaid? Um, you know, even like last season, we fell off drastically. But that weren't just because of the whole sacking and the debacle around Conte. We just looked like we were going in a downward spiral. We just seemed to always, you know, peter off. And that's for a number of reasons. Um, but, you know... I keep saying, if, if someone had said to us, you're in fifth position, you've got the chance of Champions League football, um, you know, Europa League looking quite lightly as well, which I think if we qualify for Europa League in fifth, that would be very, very good, uh, a very, very good season indeed. If someone told me that after selling Harry Kane, bringing in a new manager to implement a new style, bringing in new players that he had to embed, you know, Vicario, Mickey Van Ven, getting rid of the likes of Lloris and Dyer, you know, really properly going for it, then I would have slapped your hand off. But a lot of people will say, well, we haven't had European football without one game a week. But it's a process. It is a process. I don't care what you say. It's like we need to have time to develop. People think football sometimes is a short-term thing. But you need to build legacies. You need to build dynasties. And Postacoglu has done that at every club. And I am hopeful we can do it at Tottenham. There's something special about this manager that I still think we haven't unlocked his full potential. The way he is to the media, the way he is to this squad. So many people all around the world speak highly of him. He has earned his way to this club. He earned his way to Celtic. He really is a marvel. I just really hope that Tottenham fans, the board, Daniel Levy, everyone gives him the chance to succeed because he can help this team to succeed. And if we don't and don't really give him the keys to this car that is Tottenham Hotspur, then who knows what will happen with the club next? Who do we appoint if we get rid? It is a really complex situation and I really don't know the answers to a lot of these questions. But let me know in the comments down below. Do you think the fall off of Tottenham was inevitable? Do you think we have sort of been unlucky? Do you think... You know, we're using too many excuses. Am I using too many excuses? Let me know. I'm willing to debate you in the comment section down below. But if you have enjoyed the video, why don't you leave a like on it. Subscribe to Sunny Talk Spurs. Hit the notification bell as well because it'll let you know when I've gone live. And also in the link in the description down below, you can become a member of Sunny Talk Spurs and get exclusive access to my podcast. Nice one, Sunny, for 99p a month. And until my next video, I'll see you guys then. Ciao, bella.